All right, so there's the horn, one of the more exciting rounds you will ever see in MMA. They fought it on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Both women got knocked down. Got 60 seconds to recover now. A ton of give and take action over the course of that round. Both were able to land. Both thought that the knockdowns that they got were the ones that was gonna finish the fight. It did not happen for either. So how did they approach this next round? You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. She continues to punish the body yet again, just as she did in the last round, picking up exactly where she left off. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Sean Whaley. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. She's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, effective use of the jab. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women. Her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, a bloody mess it is not, but that cut is getting worse by the minute. It just keeps advancing because she keeps getting hit in the same spot. She has got to move her head. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments and her body investment. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, huge left. That shot is blocked by Rodriguez. So a nice job by her there to block the strike. Doing a pretty good job raising those feet. Oh. We might get a stoppage here. See what Alex Pereira can provide for an encore. Has any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom at the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two division champion, Alex Pereira? His heart and soul is the striking best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at the wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Establishing the jab here. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, how good is that elbow? Shades of my man Kenny Florian landing that thing in tight, and we'll see if he goes back to the well with it later in the fight. When you're chest to chest, you got to be a bit creative, and throwing elbows like that one will allow for you to get in the lead in the fight. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time. Beautiful ankle pick. Oh, nice. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent. Right away, he is a 
Yeah, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the front. You don't hit those. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the take. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful exit. Jones is bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. Then suddenly he'll change his stance. That flying knee to the head landed. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back. Oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, the single leg, the double leg's not working. Go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Oh, Ooh, diving punch lands. Armin, very tight. Shots to the mid oh, 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 has done it again. What a fight. What a fight. Ready fight. Ready. Good. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches. A difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Oh. Jones is looking to lock up an arm bar here. He's got it isolated. Beautiful stuff there. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard. There. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Horns out for the end of round one. 
Heading back to the corner now after that round. Duplessis corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking too much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor. Oh, that's right over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful leverage change, make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand straight punch. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish.